Want to learn more about giving an external user access to your Azure Analysis Services? Stay tuned. What's up guys, Patrick, guy in a cube, like that. And in this video, oh, is that a square? Well, anyway, in this video, we're gonna talk about giving external users access to your Azure Analysis Services, all right? So, gotta paint a picture, right? Gotta tell you how this started. So, you guys know I work for US Education at Microsoft, and I was talking to a Department of Education. They have lots of districts, but more importantly, they have lots of schools. And what they wanted to do was, hey, give the district, the head of the district, access to all the data for that district, but more importantly, they wanted to give each principal access to the data at the school. All right, so I have a semantic model. How do I do that today on premises? I can think of a couple of ways, right? All of them requires a good bit of effort, but like I like to tell everyone, it's not that I'm lazy, I'm just a really efficient guy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to use business to business in Azure to give an external user access to your Azure Analysis Services. You guys ready? Let's go, let's head over to my laptop. First thing you wanna do, all right, is to go to your Azure Active Directory. And once you're out at the Azure, once you're at your Azure Active Directory, um, you go ahead and click Users and Groups, click All Users, and then right at the top, you're gonna to see a button labeled New Guest User. This is the key to all of this, okay? So you're essentially adding a guest account to your Azure Active Directory. I'm gonna go ahead and click New User, and I'm gonna type my, my email address in, pleblanc at yahoo.com. I don't really have a Yahoo account, but just for the sake of demonstrations, you go ahead and click Invite. When you click Invite, that person's gonna get an email from Microsoft Invitations, um, and all they need to do is click the button labeled Get Started, walk through a couple of steps, and then they'll take care of their part on their end. Once that's done, to test it out, let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you, head back over to your Azure portal and go to your Azure Analysis Services. Make sure that guy's up and running because you can pause it. All right, head over to your Azure Analysis Services and you can see that mine is running, I'm not gonna pause it. And then click on Azure, I mean click on Analysis Services Admins and go ahead and click the plus sign. And you can see, you should see that person in the list of available users. Go ahead and check the one you want and click select down at the bottom, okay? Once you do that, that person's an admin. Maybe you don't wanna make them admin, but I like to test it out this way. Um, I don't tell them that I made them an admin. I don't even send them the server name. But anyway, right, you can test it out to make sure they're there. Um, then you can delete it if you want to, do whatever you wanna do, right? But we'll leave it here for now. And then what you do is after you set up the appropriate permissions, you go ahead and copy the server name. So we'll go ahead and copy the server name. And then let's head over to Power BI. Let's say you wanna give them the ability to create their own reports against your model, right? So now they have the server name, they have way too much permissions. I'm gonna show you in a little bit how to pull those permissions back a little bit. Um, but once the Power BI desktop opens, what you can do is click get data. And some of you guys maybe have never been out here before, but go ahead and click get data, choose Azure, select Azure Analysis Services, click connect, and pop in that server name. And it's gonna just like your, you know, you it's gonna prompt you with your the analysis services client's gonna pop open. Go ahead and choose your username, and it may prompt you for a password if you haven't authenticated before. But I'm already authenticated up. You'll be able to see all the databases. You can see because I'm an administrator, I can see everything. All right. Go ahead and expand out one of them. Select model just like you would any analysis services. Click OK. You'll see a schema over here on the right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and choose year. Make it a slicer. I really like the list. Let's select 2012. Go ahead and select the month and choose some internet sales, some total sales there. And let's make this a little bar chart, all right? So now I have access, right? I've created my report. It's awesome, it's great. That's what I do. I produce greatness. It's, I kid, I kid, I kid, I kid. All right, so once that's done, right, you can publish this out. And we'll come back to this in a little bit. I wanna show you another thing, one more thing, all right? So open up Management Studio. You do need the latest download of Management Studio. I think it's like 17.1. Get that downloaded and install. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to an analysis services. And once you, get it, once you get it downloaded, you'll see you have some different authentication options. I'm gonna choose Active Directory Password and Authentication because I've given another user, 
the user that I want to be the administrator, my appealable on guy in a cube, I give them access. So I'm going to authenticate with that user. I can provide that username and that account's password. Get that person authenticated. It's just like connecting to an on-premises analysis services. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. There's my databases, my semantic models. I'm going to create a new role. All right. So right click new role. Let's call this the red role, kind of like the red wedding. Right. All right. So we'll call this the red role. My guy, my uh, the guys who watch Game of Thrones, you guys will know what I'm talking about. Right. Let's and give it read permissions. So red roll read permissions. We're going to add my Microsoft account here because we don't want that guy to be an administrator. Click OK. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a row level filter on product. We'll drop that right in there. So basically, when this person authenticates, they can only see products that are red. OK, click OK. And because I made an administrator before, this is awesome, right? Everything I do in the portal in regards to you know the security of the model actually surfaces in Management Studio. So if I click Properties, I'll see Security. I'm going to remove this account. Click OK. Right, head back over to Power BI, and I'm going to change my report slightly. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Month. And what I'm going to do is add Color, and you can see that it's only red now. Right. So I've added my role level security and now it's just kind of part of my model. That person can authenticate, but they can only see red. If this was a school district, I can just specify it for that school. I can do dynamic security. I can do everything I want, you know, just like any other Azure AS. But I want to show you guys one more thing. So when I'm all done. Right. So let's make this a little more interesting. So we'll go ahead and add month back to the uh, report. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll choose, um, we will add our products and you can see there's lots of products and then we'll add color red and then total sales. But you can see how it's only red there because I've, I've given them access, right? You've seen that, right? I'm just adding a couple of more items to my report, right? So when we're done, we'll save this guy. And so we'll call this the red report. Save and what we're going to do is we're going to click publish. I'm going to publish this to my Microsoft workspace. One of my workspaces when I authenticate to my Microsoft account. So I have an Adam and Patrick workspace. Click select. Um, once it's all done, I click open my red report. Check it, right? I can go into edit mode. There's the schema. If I want to, if you don't believe me, you know, I can add something else to my report. Up oh, the color was gone. We can add the color back. It's just red at the total sales for color. I'm querying this report. It's great. It's easy. It's phenomenal. One more thing I want to show you, then I can save it, right? We're not going to save it. I'm going to go back to my workspace, choose Adam and Patrick. Nope. Don't want to save it. Check this, right? There's a data set. There's my red report. I click create a new report. Now I'm creating a report from that analysis services in PowerBI.com connected to an AS machine in a different domain. This is crazy. This is awesome. This is great. Great work Azure AS team. Great work Azure team out at Microsoft. You're making everyone's life so easier. My guys out at the county or Department of Education, they love it. All right. So what do you guys think? You got questions, you got comments, post it down below. Right. Um, if you want to see more stuff about Azure AS, please let me know. Post it in the comments below. If this is your first time to the channel, be sure to give it a subscribe. And if you like the video, give me a big thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys watching. And as always, from Adam and Patrick, we'll see you next time.